break down this A part melody in a little more detail. Here's the first line of the tablature. Got a hammer on right there in measure one. So we're hammering from our pointer finger to our ring finger. Pick hammer. Watch those pick stroke direction symbols. We do a down pick on that first open string, but then an up pick to start that hammer on. In measure two. Pretty straightforward there. Sliding with my middle finger at the end of measure two. See that? Measures one and two together. And when you're ready, let's move on to measures three and four. So you'll notice measure three, that's the exact same thing that we played in measure one, remember? But then measure four, it's a little different. Measure four is still pretty straightforward. Pick, 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 pick. Here's the pick stroke direction right there. Down, 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 up, down. All right, if you're ready, let's put all this together, measures one through four. Just play it one more time, and then we'll move on to the next line. So here we go, measures one through four. Alright, now let's move on to the next line of the A part. We got measures five through eight. Sounds like this. Okay, so one thing you may have already noticed, measures five and six, um, that's the exact same thing that we played in measures one and two. So you already know this, basically. We're just kind of repeating the same idea here. Measures five and six. So you already know that. But measures seven and eight, we've got kind of a different little ending to wrap up that A part melody. So measures seven and eight sound like this. Measure seven. Down, 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 up, down. That's the pick stroke direction. Down, oops, excuse me. Down, 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 up, down. And measure eight. And measure eight, that first pick on the fifth string, we're gonna hold that out for two counts. So one, two, pull off right there uh, into measure eight. See it pulling off from the third fret 
to the open low E string, um, I use my pointer finger. You can use your middle finger if you want. I just like the pointer for some reason on that. Uh, so anyways, let me play measures 5 through 8 one more time. Here we go. Alright, so now we've reached the end of the A part melody, and you see at the end of measure 8 right there, we've got the repeat sign. We've got those um, two thick vertical lines, kind of, with those two dots. Um, that's a repeat sign, that means you go back to the beginning of this A part melody, and um, how you know where to go at the beginning to uh, start repeating. Um, see here in measure 1, we've got that same symbol there except it's reversed the opposite way so that's where we're going to start repeating it so um, but basically that's the whole A part you just play this melody twice measures one through eight let's go ahead and do that one time and we're going to pretend we've already played it once and uh, here's the second time through the A part melody the entire A part. Now let's go check out the B part melody starting in measure 9. And uh, here on the screen we've got the first line of the B part. And the B part's the same length as the A part, just a slightly different melody. So let's go ahead and play measures 9 through 12 so you can hear it. First line of the B part. Mm -hmm. 